Hello and welcome to Baki Gaming and another The Sims 4 tutorial in which I'm going to learn you how to add dynamic light to clothing. First of all, this tutorial would never been here without the written tutorial by Untraditional Nerd at the Sims Studio Forum. You will find a link to this in the description below. One other important thing is that I'm going to use my Photoshop texture file I made in my tutorial about how to place an image on clothing. So for the people not knowing how to do that, I recommend watching that tutorial first. For the people that do know how to do that but don't have those texture files, I used this image of an eye that can be found by typing IPNG into the search bar on Google Images. The programs we are going to use are The Game The Sims 4, a program to open and save DDS files like Photoshop or GIMP, I'm going to use Photoshop and The Sims 4 Studio. For more information about those programs and some download links, look down below in the description. Now let's start by opening The Sims 4 Studio. Fill in your creator name if you haven't done so already, go to the Create a Sim section, choose Create 3D Mesh and click the Create a Sim button. In the next window we're going to use the same t-shirt as I used in my tutorial about how to place an image on clothing. So for gender choose male, for age choose adult and for path type choose clothing top. Then go to the search bar and type shirt t short into the search bar and press enter. Then search for the black t-shirt right here, click on it and click next to make it into its own package file. Then name your package file and click on save to save it to your project folder. Now in the texture section import the DDS file we made in that other tutorial of the eye placed on this t-shirt. For the people not having that DDS file you can make it by exporting this t-shirt and adding the eye to it I showed to you at the beginning of this video. Again, if you're not knowing how to do that, watch my other tutorial first on how to place an image on clothing. I also gave more info about how to edit the custom and catalog thumbnail in that other video. Now to add a dynamic light, we need to add an emission map to our package file. To do this, first click on tools and click on hash generator. To make a unique instance number for our next step, we're going to paste our package file name right here. But you can use anything that's a unique mix of letters and numbers. After that, open a text document like Notepad or Word and paste the number behind NVF62 in it. You can close this window now. Now select the first RLE2 image file and click on Add right here. Then for type choose DST image resource, this one over here. The group will stay the same and for instance you are going to your text file Copy the numbers and place it right here. After that click OK. Now click the DST image we just made and click on the data tab. Then copy the group number, the instance number which you already have and the type number to your text document. So it will look something like this. Save your text document and minimalize this window because we will need it later on. Now let's make the actual emission map. To do so, open Photoshop and open the PSD file of your edited texture file. In this case, it will have a background layer, which is the original texture file of the t-shirt and it will have the image of the eye on layer 1. Now we need to change the canvas size for the emission map to work. So first go to image, then choose canvas size, change centimeters into pixels and change the height of 2048 to 1024 and then click on this arrow right here. If it looks like this, you pick the right arrow, you can then click OK and proceed. Now we're first going to tell the game which part of the texture we want to have some sort of light effect and which part we don't want to have the light effect. We have to make the part that we don't want to have the light effect black and in this case it's everything except for the image of the eye. As everything except for the eye is on the background layer, select the background layer Press D on your keyboard to get a black foreground color and press Alt plus Delete to make everything black. Now the only thing that's left to do is telling the game if you want to have a permanent light or flashing light like you saw at the beginning of this video. The alpha layer is what defines this. So first click the channel tab and then select the alpha layer. Now for a permanent light we will have to make the eye part pure black. But as we already disabled the rest of the texture to give light in the last step we can make everything black. If we want to make a flashing light we have to use a color somewhere in between white and pure black. White will make a very fast flashing light and a darker grey will make a very slow flashing light. 
If you got multiple parts that you want to give the light effect, but you want to have a very fast flashing and a very slow flashing part on your clothing, you can use different shades of grey for those parts. Now as we only have one part and I want it to flash, I'm going to click the foreground color box, then use the color code 848484, then I click OK and use Alt plus Delete to fill it with that color. After that click the RGB channel and after that click the layers tab. Now we need to save it as a DDS file. So first go to file, then click save as, name it for example emission underscore shirt, choose for format DDS and then click save. In the next window choose DXT5 and generate MIP maps. Then again click save. Now go back into the Sims 4 studio. Back in the Sims 4 studio click the DST image file recreated, then click the image tab, click on import, select the emission shirt DDS file and click on open. We got one last thing to do now and that's linking the emission file to the geometry files by using the numbers we copied from the DST data tab to the text document. In this case there are only 4 geometry files, but sometimes there could be a lot more. You only need to link the emission map to the geometry files your image is placed on, in this case to all 4. This hoodie right here has 21 geometry files. If you placed an image on the back you only need to change one of these 4 geometry files and not one of these. Back to our t-shirt, first click the first geometry file, then click the data tab and in the material section click on edit items. In the next window click on add. For field choose emission map that you can find right here. For type code use texture and then open your text file and copy the group number to the group line, copy the instance number to the instance line and copy the type number to the type line. After that click save. Now repeat this process for the other three geometry files too. So for each one click edit items, click add, for field select emission map, for type code select texture and copy the numbers from the text document to the right spot. After you changed all your geometry files click save and click ok and then move your package file into your mods folder to test it out in game. In create a sim it will then look something like this. In game it will look like this. As always I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please hit that like button and share my video so more people will be able to find it. If you got any more questions just leave them in the comments and I will always respond to you. More tutorials will come so if you don't want to miss them please subscribe. I hope to see some nice dynamic clothing from all of you and hope to see you next time here on Bikey Gaming.